Glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Jesus is Lord now and forever. Now and forever. Jesus is Lord. Kindly sit down in the presence of Jesus and listen to today's promised word that is taken from Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah 41 verse 13. I hold your right hand, my son, my daughter, and I assist you, I help you. Praise the Lord. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand, and it is I who say to you, Do not fear, I will help you. From where our help come from? Psalm 121, verse 1 says, I extend my hands to the sanctuary, to the Zion. From there all my help come from. Some people ask, I have no help from nowhere. But the Lord says, from everywhere you will have the help because I hold your right hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And a fear note. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Once a small child wanted to cross the road and she is ready to run across. So the mother held her hand very strongly to control her, otherwise she will just go and dash against many vehicles on the road. Then the child asked, Mama, I think you have a lot of fear. Hold my hand very strongly. All your fear will disappear. But the Lord says, I hold your hand, little child, for your protection. Don't think that you are protecting the hand of God. And you are just removing the fear of your mother. God doesn't have any fear. God holds your hand. Not you are holding the hand of God Almighty. So God holds your hand to protect you. So that you should not be perished on the way, on the road. When you are crossing through the waters or moving through the fire, it will not overwhelm you. It will not destroy you because God's hands hold you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lifting up our hands now, you extend your hands towards Jesus. He holds your right hand as we give a shake hand to the people through our right hand. That means we extend our help and our support to a person whom we meet. I am with you. I support you. I assist you. I help you. You are uh, in my side and I am also with you. That's why we give a shake hand. But God doesn't give you the shake hand. But he gives you the hand. He extending his hands. Extend your hands. Psalm 40 verse 3. The Lord has lowered down his hand where you are. You may be in the deep pit. Verse 2 says you are in the deep pit. And you are crying from there to ha ask help, but nobody comes, but God's hands just extended towards you where you are and put you out of this pit. And Psalm 40 verse 3, then you will have a new song in your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Extend your hands and keep on extending your hands and just offer all your intentions on this altar the Lord extends his right hand towards you name of Jesus Jesus of Nazareth I pray over you right now and I pray over all your intentions that you placed on this altar I pray over these intentions put in this intercessory box I bless this chat box online and all the prayers therein be answered at the right time. The Lord may hold your right hand and God's help may come to you. According to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, let us approach and extend our hands towards the throne of grace. From there we will get the mercy of God and also the grace that is a help at the right time the help comes from God let all your intentions be fulfilled these prayers be answered 
let all the prayers be transformed for the glory of god thank you and praise you jesus